Hey, what's up, HVAC Control Pro? This is Eric from controltrends.com. I get a lot of questions about ChatGPT and artificial intelligence. So I thought I'd put together just a really quick video about how to get started with ChatGPT. Uh, I think it's an amazing tool. Think of it as an assistant. So I'll show you a couple of prompts here that you can maybe use to give you a feel for it. Nothing fancy. This is definitely for beginners or people just getting started. But hey, if you subscribe to the newsletter at controltrends.com, every week with the newsletter, I send out a chat GPT prompt, which you can just copy and paste and put into um, chat GPT. So you'll see how it works. Hope you enjoy. I have a paid account, so I think I'm going to be okay. But let's just log in and see what happens. Uh, so we got all these cool things here. So go chat GPT. And if you don't have an account, you just can set one up. But here I am, and so here is my chat box right here. So as simple as typing in commands or prompts, okay? So for example, I could write, tell me about smart building control systems. All right, so here we go. As you can see, it gives a pretty comprehensive definition of smart building controls. Now you would definitely have to go in and check this out and make sure that it was accurate, okay? But let's go to something a little more practical, okay? So that's one way you can enter a prompt right there. You could say, for example, I had an insurance guy who said, hey, I have trouble with my elevator speech. In other words, people me, people ask me what I do, I don't know what to say. So let's just, let's create an elevator speech for that. So what I like to do is separate it out. So I hit the bracket and I type in data, okay? And then I put equals. And this is gonna tell ChatGBT what the data is. I am a HVAC controls professional. Uh, I install smart building control systems that save money and energy. Okay, that's going to be my data. Now, so now what I do is I hit the greater than sign, okay? And then I type in command. Now this is telling chat GBT now that this is what it wants me to do. And I go command equals. And I go, what do I tell people I do for work when they ask. Okay, so now we're telling it, we're giving it a command telling what we want it to do. Now I can give it further instructions. I can say, make it fun and witty. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. I'm like the conductor of an energy save saving orchestra. I install smart building control systems that bring harmony to buildings, making them dance to the tune of energy efficiency and savings. Uh, I'm the maestro of comfort and the guidance guardian of s sustainable spaces. Wow, this is pretty cool. So I can do the same thing and I can go rewrite the above and you can ask it to do thing in voices. In the voice of Jerry Seinfeld. All right, let's see what it generates now. When people ask me what I do for a living, I tell them I'm like the captain of the energy saving ship. So you can see it's a completely different thing. I'm the Batman of HVAC fighting energy waste and bringing comfort to masses. So that's really cool. You could do that. Now, so what I want to say is there's an old saying, garbage in, garbage out. The more specific and better prompts you can give it, the better the output's going to be. So it's a really great assistance. Another thing you could do, for example, would be you could do quotes with this. You could enter the data for the quotes or, okay, so let's say that you are a sales rep and you are calling on 
end user customers and you want to try to get an appointment with a building owner to talk to them about energy savings. So in this case, we could go data. Hope we can put the brackets first. Data equals I am a systems controls systems integrator with 20 years of experience. My company has a proven track record of saving building owners money by saving energy and while improving tenant comfort. Okay, so we'll start with that as our data. Put the bracket around that. Now we want to give it the command, and the command is going to be, remember we hit the greater than sign, command equals, okay, we're going to go you, we'll give it a voice, you are a world-class marketing copywriter. Write me a compelling email that I can send to prospects. Write it in, we'll just say in the style of Dan Kennedy, who was a great copywriter, so that they will want to schedule, so we'll just say that, so that they will want to call me to schedule an appointment. All right, let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so check this out. Dear Pro Un the title is Unleash the Power of Efficiency and Comfort in Your Building. Dear, hope this email finds you in high spirits and eager to embark on a journey towards optimizing your building's energy efficiency without compromising tenant comfort. As a distinguished control system integrated with an illustrious track record spanning two decades, I want to share an opportunity that revolutionizes the way you manage your building's energy consumption. As you can see, some of this you're going to want to change, but boy, it's a really good start. What sets us apart from the rest? It's our relentless pursuit of perfection and our passion for making tangible results. You could put in testimonials here if you wanted to. It's not bad, so let me know what in your comments what you think about that. But the point being, ChatGPT works really well. If you subscribe to the newsletter, I send out a ChatGPT prompt of the week that you can just type in under ChatGPT. You can get a free version of this. The only challenge is if a lot of people are using it, you don't, you can't, you can't get on a lot of the times. It's 20 bucks a month is what I pay. Can always get on, plus you can use the latest and greatest. So hope that helps. Be sure to subscribe to the newsletter and check us out on controltrends.com.